We see hundreds, if not thousands of firearms every single year come in and out of our shop. One of the most popular style of firearms is a concealed carry pistol. Now there are a lot of opinions on how to properly clean and lubricate these pistols. So today we're gonna go over our recommendation and how we like to do it. Let's check it out. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we wanted to go over something that is kind of controversial out there. It's not really as big of a deal as people make it out to be. Uh, so we wanted to go over how to properly clean and lubricate your carry pistol, how we like to do it, how often we do it, and everything in between. Today I have my Glock 17 in. I took my flashlight off so I didn't have to mess with it and I'm going to be cleaning it. It's not crazy, crazy dirty, cause well, let's be real. Ammo is hard to come by right now and I've not been shooting a lot. Uh, I usually clean this pistol about every one to 2,000 rounds, just a very quick clean. And then every five to six to 7,000, I'll do a super deep clean. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is make sure that your firearm is unloaded. This is a big, big, big thing that you need to check. Make sure there's no ammo on your bench. Just keep it completely separate. So I'm gonna look down the barrel, physically see there's no magazine in it. Pull the trigger, pull this back, and we'll let this slide come off. Now today, I'm not gonna take the firearm all the way apart. I'm just gonna field strip it like you see here. You'll notice some of the products that I have in front of me are the Hoppies products. We carry Hoppies products because they've been proven over many, many, many years, and they keep coming out with new products that just work really, really well. This is what we use in the shop for customer guns, and this is what a lot of us use on our personal firearms. You'll notice I have a couple different options here. I've got one of our gun medic lubes, a bore cleaner, the old fashioned lube, and then the gun medic action cleaner. Uh, this stuff is awesome because it's really going to blast everything out that's going to be in the firearm. So now let's take a look at the firearm itself. We're going to really look at how dirty it is, what we want to focus on, and where we want to go from here. You'll notice in the frame that it is rather dirty with carbon buildup. So we're gonna blast this out in a minute. We're gonna lube up some specific parts. Same thing with the slide. You'll see that on the top here, it's a little bit more dirty. The striker block is pretty dirty. Um, as I'm in here also and I'm cleaning this, I wanna make sure that I'm looking to make sure nothing is broken. Next, I'll look at the barrel and the spring. The spring is not that important. It, it doesn't get that dirty. You can blast that off. Uh, we won't pay too much attention to it but the barrel we do see that the feed ramp is pretty carboned up. So I will put some bore cleaner actually on it, let it sit, and then we'll be able to pretty much wipe it right off. All right, first thing that you're gonna see that I'm gonna do is start with the cleaner. So I'm gonna start with the Gun Medic Action Cleaner as this really blasts out really well, uh, gets it pretty clean right off the bat. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this, shake it up, Lay everything on my tech mat so it'll soak up anything that gets sprayed on it. I'm gonna. And this stuff does dry up pretty quickly, but I'll just take a rag, wipe the outside of my frame. And then another item that you're gonna see that's on my bench and I always have on my bench, cotton swabs, ear cleaners, whatever you wanna call them. Take some of these and it does really well with getting down where you can't reach with a towel. Helps get this very, very clean. You'll notice that there's a lot of carbon on the trigger bar itself. We're gonna wanna get that completely clean. Up by the trigger down on the rails after you get that initial blast and clean I'm gonna go back to where the disconnector and all the trigger components are 
because I really want to get that clean. So I'm gonna spray that extra. Take my cotton swab. Now you do want to pay attention to make sure that no cotton really comes off of this and sticks down in here. You don't want it to get all jammed up. But you'll notice pretty quickly that this stuff really does a good job with getting that carbon out. You'll see it's pretty polished already. In the meantime, I'm gonna take some of this bore cleaner, spray this stuff down the bore, let it soak real well on my feed ramp. I'm gonna set that over here and let that go. Now I'm gonna take now I'm gonna take my slide, do the same thing. Let's just baby out. You'll see it's pushing the cotton swabs. This, I mean, this can really has some ump behind it. Go to my cotton swabs. Also take my towel, just get the bulk of it. You'll notice that I'm getting a pretty good amount of carbon out of this thing. Then I'll also just blast off my mainspring. Make sure that's nice and clean. All right, so that was pretty quick. Uh, that's what the good thing is about this action cleaner. It's very quick, uh, it really blasts the stuff out really well. You'll see I'm, I'm gonna wipe it away on my frame. Some of it gets left over, most of it does dry up. All right, let's check on the barrel. Go back to it, most of, on that feed ramp, that bore cleaner really eats most of it away. So we have two different options for lube sitting here. We've got the Gun Medic Lube, and then the classic Hoppies number nine lube. I'm gonna use some of this number nine synthetic. This is a little bit thicker than most lubes, like your rim oil, anything like that. I like rim oil an AR-15 and a shotgun, something that you can really lube up a lot. If it's a carry gun, I don't want oil dripping out of it onto me, onto my clothes, everything like that. So you're gonna hit some key points on the slide itself. You're gonna wanna hit the rails in the rear, in the front, your striker block, and then your extractor. Those are parts that I like to lube. Then you'll also wanna put just a touch of lube back on the striker firing pin itself. So I'm going to do a dab here, dab here, front, down below. My barrel makes contact and down in the strike bird assembly. Then I will take one of my cotton swabs, just very lightly wipe this around onto the rails in the front where the barrel makes contact. So on the frame, I'm going to hit the front trigger, the rails, trigger bar, and then the trigger spring disconnect in the back. So I like to hit the rails just a little bit, both sides, trigger where the trigger and trigger bar go, trigger bar itself, and then I'm going to hit my springs and the housing in the rear. So I'm gonna hit my barrel down here where it makes contact. I'm gonna hit it up front and then on the rear. All right, now that it's all clean, I'm gonna put the firearm back together and function test. This is something that is very important as you wanna make sure that everything went well, that it's still working. We will throw this together. I'm gonna wipe this down a little bit, make sure it looks real nice. And then, of course, we know that the gun is empty. I'm going to pull the trigger, make sure it's resetting, and everything looks good to go. Thanks for watching the video today, guys. 
we would really appreciate if you'd hit that subscribe button to see all of our upcoming content. We have a lot of really cool things planned for the future and we're gonna start pumping out hopefully a video a week every other week. If you have any recommendations at all, comment that below. Let us know what you wanna see in the shop around Midwest Gunworks in general. And of course, if you have any questions on the products, the cleaning stuff, the mats, anything we use today, check us out at MidwestGunworks.com.